right, guys. Pulling up my phone so I can see some comments if we got any. All right, guys. So my video today is going over some of the defensive tackle options, uh, primarily the three technique, which is in between the guard and the center, the one gap penetrator. Um, Really the drink that stirs everything in the, you know, 4-3 Mike Zimmer style of defense. He came from Cincinnati. Um, Paul Gunther is his disciple. Um, and there you have the three technique, which is a one gap uh, between the uh, guard and the center. And it's really the uh, penetrator and the disruptor. Geno Atkins uh, made a killing for it out in uh, Cincinnati. And then Minnesota, Linval Joseph. Uh, this is from, uh, you know, Mike Zimmer's. Uh, tree coaching tree and uh what's his name Lou oh, what's his name? old Bengals head coach can't remember right now Marvin Lewis thank you um but so basically I just want to talk over like Mohurst and uh, uh Collins and you know there's a lot to be excited about Malik Collins and Mohurst um but I feel like Mohurst is kind of being underappreciated right now currently and the reason why I say that if you look back at their numbers they have very similar numbers the past two years. And if you really look at it, Collins has a lot more snaps over the past two years than Maurice Hurst. So um, just to show that I've really looked at it, you can only see the one year 2018, but I looked at both. Um, but for this, the sample, so 2018, Mohurst had 472 snaps, three, uh, three tackles for a loss, I believe. And then uh, four sacks. Um, and then, Mo, Mo, uh, excuse me, geez. Malik Collins had about the, just 20 more snaps and three sacks. So actually two years ago, he had less production sack-wise, which isn't everything, you know, his pressure rate and all that kind of stuff. We had less sacks uh, than Mo Hurst's rookie year. And then dating back to last year, Mo Hurst had 537 snaps, 18 tackles, and three and a half sacks. Well, Malik Collins got 782 snaps. So that's almost 300 snaps more. And he finished with 20 tackles, so only two tackles more, and four sacks. Now, having said that, sacks aren't everything. You look at pressure rate and all that. But, um, you know, I just think Mo Hurst still has a chance to be really productive at that three technique. You know, he was really great at Michigan. And like I said, in, in limited snaps compared to Collins, just about the same amount of production. Now, the main difference that I would say is um, Malik Collins has got a really nasty spin move. And really, there's only about one other defensive tackle that really does that, and that's Aaron Donald. So he's got a little bit more flash, a little bit more moves in his repertoire. But really, Mo Hurst is pretty much just as productive. Um, so let's look back. Here's an article that's kind of brought up. There's the snaps, you know, that stuff. Okay, so he started off slow, it says. Um, you know, just 12 pressures in the first seven games. And something, that, according to Pro Football Focus, Hurst only trailed some huge names at the position and pass rush rate over the final nine weeks. This is only over the final nine weeks. He only trailed Aaron Donald, Kenny Clark, and Chris Jones. Chris Jones of Kansas City, Kenny Clark of Green Bay from out of UCLA, and Aaron Donald, you know, the tank out of Pittsburgh. Uh, that was for the Los Angeles Rams. He told 26 pressures in the last nine games. That's crazy good. So he really picked it up at the end of the year. You know, he was in a bit of a rotation. Like I said, his snaps were way, you know, down compared to Collins. Um, so lightning first step, as we all know, a Michigan disruptor. And then looking at this, um, let me see here. Let's see, where am I looking? Okay, so Malik Collins, let's look at some of his stuff. Now, like I said, Malik Collins had a lot more snaps over the year, and his, you know, numbers come through it all. Um, 
So as a result, he finished with the four ties pass rush win rate in the entire league, only behind Aaron Donald, Grady Jarrett, and Chris Jones. So that's over the whole year this past year, not just the last nine games. So if you really think about it, if you get the same nine game production out of you know Mo Hurst and Collins, um, you know if they both play the same position, if they rotated in and out, you know getting eight sacks, eight and a half sacks from your three technique is really good. That's about what Geno Atkins averages um, from Cincinnati. Joseph is about the same um, for Minnesota the last handful of years. So, you know, everyone's kind of kind of forgotten about Mo Hurst, but I just don't want you guys to forget about that, you know. Um, so the Raiders potentially have two good young three techniques. Now the important thing is both of their contracts end this upcoming year. So we'll see who they end up extending, if they extend any of them. But, yeah, so let's go over some maybe some highlights that I can see. This is a spin move. This is Malik Collins. You can see him. I think he's right here, if I'm not mistaken. You can see it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Woo. So that's that rare move that really him and Aaron Donald mastered. Really no one else does that spin move out of um, the defensive tackle position. Quick on his feet, man, like a tornado. Um, let's see this. Two minutes here. Let's see. This is from Chris Reed, the athletic. Not mistaken. Nice little up and under rip move. Pressure right in the face. Causes the incompletion. There it is again. Maybe I'll break it smaller. Maybe it looks better smaller. So really, like I said, Malik Collins and Mo Hurst, you should be really excited about. See, he eats up two blocks right here. Bust right through that double team. Boom, pressure. So I know everyone's really excited about Luke Collins, and we've heard all the coaches rave about him. You know, he's from Rob Marinelli, so it makes sense. But, you know, I saw something today that, you know, the Raiders, because uh, Gerald McCoy went down, and the Cowboys beat writer suggested someone go get Mo Hurst because he's a backup player. I do not want to see that. I want the Raiders to hold on to Mo Hurst. Um, you got to bring waves, especially against great quarterbacks. You know, we got Patrick Mahomes in our division. We got to be getting inside pressure a lot. Um, so inside that defensive line rotation, and him and Mo Hirsch is something that we should be really excited about. Here's Mike Collins again. This against Arizona. Let's see. Look at that. Just bats him away. Um, so that's something to be really excited about, guys. Um, he had a monster year this past year. And like I said, it's not all sacks. It's about pressures, hurries, opening stuff up. You know, he's alongside Demarcus Lawrence. But, yeah. So, basically, in long story short, don't um, sell Mo Hurst short. He just needs more snaps. And, really, his production would match very similar to Collins. So, I think the Raiders this year are really set at three technique. And that's important. You know, it's it's really the most important you know, um position on the defensive line in that 4-3 Paul Gunther system. Um, let's see. But I think that's all I really have for you guys today. Like I said, I, I'm going to get better at these videos. I've just been so busy with work and whatnot and just coming in a little bit late. But, um, yeah, three technique. Should be really solid for this year. Get excited. And, um, yeah, I'll be coming back with more content. Stay, um, stay tuned and stay safe, folks, and uh, take care.